Oh, what was that? Honda? Yes, dear? Are you using your powers to turn on the light? Yes, dear. Allow me, sweetheart. What do you see? Only your lovely rose bushes. That's all? Are you using your night vision vision? I assure you, my love, I see nothing amiss. You have absolutely no reason to be... Oh, no! You were saying? I like that. That's fun. I yeah, mean, that, like, is our, gotta... that is our 60s Bewitched episode. Oh, okay. All right. The beds look very Dick Van Dyke show. And then you got a little hint of Bewitched in there as well. Is that yes, correct? We cover, yes, we cover all of American sitcoms starting with the 50s, a la Dick Van Dyke. And we progress until the aughts. And there's a reason for it. There, it's not it's not just um, a fun trick we do. Mm -hmm. And um, we try to film each episode kind of as authentically as we could to each decade. And in the 50s, we filmed in front of a live studio audience and filled with so many NDAs. And we just, huh. it was really strange and fun and had practical special effects on strings and the whole thing. Yes. I like that. Now, you know, there are a lot of theories uh, floating around online as to what the show is, and I want to run a couple of by you. I know you can't confirm or deny, but I thought maybe we could get a read from you. Here's one. Vision's tie is a clue. Now, let's zoom in on Vision's tie. There are two dots inside the rectangle on his tie, and then two dots on the outside. And I guess the idea is that your characters are trapped inside uh, something, and also on the outside, where you either can't get in or can't get out. Any of that ring a bell? The thing is, is all of all of these Easter eggs, even if they were real, they would go way above my head. So okay. I have. No <laughs> what about the idea that this wine bottle? Now it's a Maison de Mupri, Mupri. I don't know how to speak French, but it translates to House of Misery which uh -huh. could be saying that the series is based on the popular comic House of M, in which Wanda has a breakdown and there's a lot of weirdness going on. Our prop guy, Russell, would be very a very clever man if he put that in. All right, what about this one? Wanda bears a striking resemblance to these actors who played the role of Michelle Tanner on a sitcom from the 90s called Full House, <laughs> which would mean Uncle Joey is about to join the MCU. Yes or no? That would be incredible. It is very <laughs> meta, the whole thing. <laughs> it is very meta, yeah. It's like you got <laughs> swallowed by a TiVo or something. Well, I can't wait to see it. Um, and so you're different. over there shooting the new Doctor Strange movie or not shooting it right now. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can't say anything about that either. Wow, what a thing, what a little prison. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Happy New Year. This is going to be my new WandaVision episode one video. She went on Kimmel and just dropped this really big scene and talked about some of the big X-Men fan theories, confirming a bunch of details and confirming some Doctor Strange 2 stuff. So we'll break it all down. I'll be doing videos for all the episodes, so be sure to subscribe to get those if you're brand new to my channel. We're also doing a giveaway for Disney Plus memberships. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave your favorite theory about WandaVision on the video. As they say during that scene from the first couple of episodes, they're just having their funny Dick Van Dyke moment where they're in the separate beds because back during that era of TV, people weren't allowed to sleep together, husband and wife. It was just this really weird rule that they changed later on. So it's a big bewitched scene with her being like Samantha, using her secret powers to turn things on with telekinesis. But when Vision goes out of bed to see what's going on causing all those noises, the booms and the bangs you hear in the background, that's actually the sword agents that are trying to break into her alternate TV reality, this big bubble around her house. They're literally trying to blast their way in. That's what's making all that noise. I love the way she addresses the X-Men Easter eggs and the House of M stuff when he starts talking about the wine bottle too. Like, oh, that would be very clever. Wink, wink. Like, yeah, that's definitely meant to be an X-Men Easter egg because we are doing a version of MCU House of M. The wine bottle reads Maison du Mapri, which literally translates to House of Contempt in French. So you could also think of that as a reference to her having contempt for reality where Vision is dead. So she creates this fake reality around her. 
And a lot of the series is riffing on the Tom King vision run where he moved to the suburbs and created a family for himself because he just didn't want to deal with the Avengers stuff. So he literally created a family for himself, like a wife and a couple of children. Except with the WandaVision series, it's Scarlet Witch that's doing all that is from her perspective. She's the one that's creating this family with her powers. When she says there's a reason for them doing all this sitcom stuff going through the decades, it's not just for the fun of it. It's so they can age their children up, Wiccan and Speed from the comics, the X-Men characters, so that they can participate in other big crossovers with Young Avengers stuff that they're setting up in all the big Disney Plus shows. In fact, they just announced another character, Patriot from the Young Avengers, is going to debut during Falcon and Winter Soldier. So it's just another one of the many, many Young Avengers characters that we started to see appear in all these different Disney Plus series. The title of the show, WandaVision, is sort of this meta reference to a bunch of different things. So it's a reference to the classic era of TV, like Intellivision. It's also a reference to Wanda and Vision together, like the Scarlet Witch Vision comic book that dealt with their actual relationship where their children were born. And it's a reference to Wanda's vision because you're literally seeing this from her perspective, like she's changing reality around her. And Vision is a participant in that. And because they're leaning so hard on this meta trope of what's going on with the TV, like it's TV reality, she's watching TV here, and in the modern family, modern day sitcom looking era here where she's sitting here eating her breakfast, watching TV, this scene where the TV starts to cycle around her to all the different decades and she starts freaking out like she doesn't know what's going on, this actually might be from one of the first episodes before she gets sucked into this TV dimension, before it completely turns into the 1950s. Because when she first gets sucked into the TV, she's the only one in color, she's in modern day clothes, she looks kind of confused, but then suddenly this face of confusion turns to happiness as she starts to kind of believe the lie just because Vision is in front of her, like, oh my god, he's still alive. Also, too, because one of her big powers that we've seen in the Avengers movies is messing with people's minds like Avengers Age of Ultron when she was giving everyone those visions, that's probably why the people around her here don't remember who they are. Like, these are all probably that live here during present day, then when she starts changing things, they also get sucked into this reality, too. Like Monica Rambeau, we know as a sword agent, she tries to break in to find out what's happening with Scarlet Witch, but when she's in there, she doesn't remember who she is because of Scarlet Witch's powers messing with her mind. When she flies out, it even looks like she's literally coming through the screen of a television. You see her lying here on the ground. This is probably when she remembers who she is. Like, the effects probably wear off when she comes back to the main MCU reality. As Elizabeth Olsen confirms, they're also in the middle of filming Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness right now. Obviously, because we know that WandaVision is going to directly lead up and cross over with Doctor Strange 2, the actual point of crossover probably has something to do with her literally manifesting this alternate reality, merging it with the normal reality, and it causing a bunch of multiverse consequences. I know there have been a lot of theories about Mephisto and Nightmare and bigger Marvel MCU villains, like whoever's going to be the main villain of Doctor Strange 2 also has something to do with what's happening during WandaVision. That's also very possible, too. I'm sure there's going to be Easter eggs for all the different big Scarlet Witch comics that they're doing during the series. Because they're doing the X-Men thing with her twin mutant children and Mephisto was a big part of that story in the comics, I wouldn't be surprised if they reference some of that through that storyline. But if you think about the timeline of the show this way, if they go through different decades in each different episode, but they're only going from the 1950s to the aughts, that doesn't cover all nine episodes. So it sounds like they're going to blow through the different decades of television before they get to the finale in the last couple of episodes will be them doing really crazy big Doctor Strange 2 stuff in present day. Like, there was a Latin American news source that claimed that they're going to drop the first two episodes when the series premieres instead of just dropping the first episode. And that might be because the 1950s and the 1960s episodes, the Bewitched episode and the Dick Van Dyke episode, are both in black and white. And maybe they just don't want to confuse people. Like, if you didn't follow WandaVision, you hadn't seen any of the trailers, you're not a big comic book fan, or you hadn't followed the Avengers movies... But if you just watch the episode, you might think that the entire series is in black and white and be confused by what's going on. So I think they want to blow through the black and white episodes as quickly as possible till they get to the 70s when things start white transitioning around her and they go to the Brady Bunch, everything's in color because that's when most television shows started to be broadcast in color. But however they decide to drop the episodes, doesn't matter, I'll be doing videos for everything. In the Marvel Legends TV show, is kind of like a prequel, kind of an intro to WandaVision. Those episodes drop this Friday, so whatever that winds up being, I'll do a video for that too. So if there's any big Marvel videos or X-Men or Avengers videos you want me to make while the series is happening about big Easter eggs or big Doctor Strange videos, just let me know in the comments.
I've got a new video for Thor 4 that I'm working on that should post later tonight or early tomorrow. Make sure you turn alerts on for my channel so you don't miss that. Congratulations, Trackmaster. You're the giveaway winner from my last big Marvel video. Please email me on the about page of my channel so I can get your contact details. Everyone, click here for that brand new Deadpool 3 Ryan Reynolds video that he just posted. And click here for that brand new Batman trailer and learn about what's going on with all the new different Batman movies. Thank you so much for watching. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys tonight.